This is the F-A-18 fighter jet, one of the most advanced and versatile aircraft in the skies today. The F-A-18 Hornet is a twin-engine, carrier-capable, multi-role fighter jet developed primarily for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. It is designed for air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. Let's break it down. The two tall fins at the back. These are called vertical stabilizers. They keep the jet steady when it turns at high speed, especially during sharp turns or high-speed maneuvers. Unlike single-fin designs, this setup reduces radar visibility, which is crucial for stealth. Check out the air intakes on both sides. These feed air into the twin engines. They give the FA-18 its incredible power, enough to fly at supersonic speeds and quick acceleration during combat or carrier takeoffs. These two large circular exhaust nozzles in the center of the rear fuselage are called afterburner nozzles. They provide thrust for propulsion. When afterburners are engaged, Fuel is injected into the exhaust stream to produce additional thrust. The wings are designed for both speed and agility. Underneath, you can see hard points where weapons like missiles or external fuel tanks are attached. This modular system allows the FA-18 to switch roles, from dogfighting to ground attack, by swapping out equipment. Regarding the control surfaces, there are four main components. Ailerons, on the wings, control roll. Flaps, adjust lift during takeoff and landing. Rudders, on tail fins. Control yaw. Elevators, on tail planes. Control pitch. And finally, the radar nose at the front. Inside is a powerful radar system. It detects enemies, locks onto targets, and directs weapons with precision, giving the FA-18 its lethal edge in combat. Now look at the cockpit. It's covered by a transparent bubble canopy which gives pilots a wide field of view, critical during dogfights or landing on aircraft carriers. Inside, the pilot has access to high-tech controls, radar displays, and heads-up displays, HUDs. The cockpit is a critical part of the aircraft where the pilot controls and monitors the jet's systems. It contains control stick or flight stick, controls the aircraft's flight surfaces for maneuvering, multifunction displays, MFDs, colored screens showing radar, maps, navigation and weapons data, heads-up display, projects critical flight data onto a transparent screen in front of the pilot, analog gauges, display backup flight information like altitude and speed. Regarding aerodynamics and design, the FA-18's wings are swept back to reduce drag and allow it to fly faster at high altitudes. Combined with the twin stabilizers at the back, this design gives the jet incredible agility, letting it turn quickly during combat. There are two types of stabilizers, vertical stabilizers or tail fins. Its role is to maintain directional stability and control yaw. The vertical stabilizers ensure the aircraft doesn't yaw uncontrollably, side-to-side -side movement. Rudders at the back of the stabilizers provide control input for changing direction. Horizontal stabilizers or tailplanes. Its role is to stabilize pitch and control the nose up to down movement. The tailplanes adjust their angles to balance the forces on the aircraft and enable climb or descent. Thanks to its twin-engine setup, the FA-18 can reach speeds of over Mach 1.8, almost twice the speed of sound. This makes it one of the fastest fighter jets on a modern battlefield. Take a look at the landing gear visible here. The rugged design is specially reinforced for hard landings on aircraft carriers, where precision and durability are key. It can handle the tough impact of landing on a moving ship at sea, so they are great when it comes to supporting the aircraft during taxi, takeoff, and landing. This jet isn't just a fighter, it's a multi-role aircraft. In air-to-air -air combat, it fires missiles to take down enemy planes. Equipped with short and medium-range missiles, the FA-18 can dominate dogfights and intercept enemy aircraft. The missile rails, jack launchers are specialized mounts on the wings and fuselage that hold air-to-air -air or air-to-ground missiles. Electronic signals initiate missile deployment when fired. The radar housed in the nose ensures targets are tracked accurately, even at long distances. The sensors and radar systems manage threats and aid navigation. The FA-18 includes advanced radar systems like the APG-73 or APG-79 AESA radar that track multiple targets simultaneously and assist with weapon guidance. 
The FA-18 is also designed for ground strikes. It can carry guided bombs, rockets or targeting pods on its underwing hardpoints, seen clearly in this image. It can carry extra fuel tanks or special sensors for long missions and reconnaissance. These external mounts are designed to hold air-to-air -air missiles, likely AIM-120 AMRAM or AIM-9 Sidewinders, air-to-ground ordnance like bombs and guided missiles. In addition to combat, the FA-18 can carry external fuel tanks like the ones visible here, allowing for longer missions. Pilots can drop the tanks if needed for weight reduction or combat maneuvers. That's why the FA-18 is so valuable. It can do almost everything. Here's what sets it apart. The FA-18 is designed for aircraft carrier operations. One unique feature of the FA-18 is its folding wings. On aircraft carriers, space is tight, so the wings fold up to make room for more jets on the deck. An arrestor hook under the jet grabs cables on the carrier deck to stop the plane quickly after landing. Combined with its strong landing gear, this jet is perfectly built for life at sea. The production cost for each jet is about $50 million, covering materials, labor and assembly. High-tech systems like radar and weapons integration add to the overall expense, making it a high-value investment for modern militaries. It's sold for a price between $66 million and $75 million per unit, depending on the version. The more advanced Block 3 version, equipped with upgraded capabilities, is at the higher end of that range. The Super Hornet is built by Boeing Defense, Space and Security, a division of Boeing. Its design originated with McDonnell Douglas, but after their 1997 merger with Boeing, the program transitioned to its current producer. While the United States Navy is the primary operator, countries like Australia, Canada, Kuwait, Switzerland, Spain, Finland and Malaysia rely on different variants of this jet for their defense needs. Looking ahead, the future of the FA-18 is promising. The US Navy has introduced the Block 3 Super Hornet, a highly upgraded version featuring advanced radar, enhanced stealth capabilities, and state-of-the-art avionics. These improvements ensure the jet remains a vital part of military operations until at least 2035. Though the F-35 Lightning II is set to gradually replace the FA-18, the Super Hornet continues to excel thanks to its reliability, versatility, and cost-effectiveness. It remains a critical tool for modern navies and air forces. In summary, the FA-18 Super Hornet is more than just a fighter jet. It's a symbol of engineering excellence, delivering speed, power, and adaptability for a wide range of missions. Its legacy is secure, even as it evolves for the future. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more in-depth content like this.